What's up guys? Andrew from Apex Cards here. Just going through uh, what I like to call one of the jewel case boxes. Um, I shipped, uh, had a pod coming down here to Miami and I shipped down um, a bunch of boxes. I tried to mainly pick boxes that, that had jewel cases in them because those are a lot of the boxes that I haven't gone through. And they're fairly interesting, as is this box. So I've got a whole box over here to the side um, off, off screen, but the very first jewel case at the top of the box and it's a it's a two row maybe 1600 count box um with uh, i don't know maybe 15 20 jewel cases in it but the top one here um was this jewel case had this card which is you know jumps right out at you these are shack poo cards i've seen these um quite a bit um in this collection and this is going to be the, the storage locker fine collection but let me show you these cards here so um, I don't know the value of these. You can see back here on COMC, they're on here for around 10 bucks. Um, this one specifically is called The Beast. Um, it's kind of off screen here, but it's a $10 card. So, you know, one person has them listed on COMC and has them all listed at 10 bucks. And it looks like I've got kind of the full set here of these. This is like a Street Fighter looking card, but Anyway, I can't remember what exactly Shaq Fu was. I don't think it has anything to do with Shaquille O'Neal, but maybe it does. I can't fully remember. But anyway, <clears throat> look through the rest of this jewel case. So let's assume these Shaq Fu cards aren't actually worth $10 a piece, but someone does have them listed at $10 a piece. Actually, yeah, Shaq is here. You can see there is actually a picture of Shaq there, but I don't have that specific card, but apparently is associated with Shaq Fu. So um, I don't know the full history of those cards, but we're going to look them up and figure it out, get those listed on Chrono Card. But um, in the bottom of the jewel case, I uh, came across these Drew, Drew Bledsoe cards, which is a it's a classic set here. And um, started looking these guys up. There are some valuable cards in here. There are some Shaq cards in here, and I found a couple of them. And there's a Manon Ream card in here. Here's a Jeff Gordon card, too. Um, let me try to get these in frame. But there's some Shaq cards. I've already found them. Yeah, here's the shack. Here's one of the shacks. Let's put that down, pull that out. Um, actually, that was Isaiah Ryder. Never mind. Here's the shack. One of the shacks. Here's the man in Ream. That's her pre rookie card. She was a female hockey player. Here's another one of the shacks. Another, an extra shack. So there's a couple. There's maybe. Let's see here. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's three shacks and two man and reams there um, that are worth keeping. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. You know, there's Barry Bonds. There's some other interesting players in this set, but the main two that I saw that had some value, and we're talking two or three bucks, are that shack and man and ream. But I'm going to keep going through this jewel case box. And uh, I pulled out the shack food cars. I pulled out the classic shacks and man and reams. We're going to make a little stack here. And uh, hopefully I'll get back on here. I'm going to go through the rest of the box. And if there's anything else interesting, um, again, like here's another one of the jewel cases. I don't know what's in here, but, you know, here's a stadium club baseball card on the top. And it's kind of falling apart here. So anyway, I'm going to go through the rest of this, see if there's any value. I'll get back if there is. Hey guys, I'm back here. Nothing crazy in this stack, but I wanted to show you like a typical jewel case. There's just kind of no rhyme or reason. So these came out of this one here. No rhyme or reason to some of this stuff, but like, you know, on the top was this Reggie White. A couple of them, okay. Chris Miller, and then you get to this Jack Nicholas card, which is like a like an off-brand living legend card. You see, there's Jordans of these. You see these quite often. I mean, these sometimes these will actually have value. I mean, I haven't looked it up, but, you know, and then you get into some SP upper deck football here. You know, none of these names jump out to me. Troy Vincent, Carter. And then, um, you know, then we'll run into some, uh, okay. Then there's a big run of Daryl Strawberry. So you got Daryl Strawberry, 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 Daryl Strawberry, Strawberry, Strawberry. Then you get back into football. Just kind of no rhyme or reason here. Reggie Brooks, Kirby, Kirby, Means, 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 Jerome Bettis. All right, know that name. McDuffie, McDuffie. Here's, now we're back to Daryl Strawberries, right? It's kind of weird. And then all of a sudden, boom, what is this thing? You know, this is like a chrome 
type card, but it's got a woman's butt on it, so that's always a good sign. I haven't looked these up yet. Zealot, Zealot, Zealot Aegis Entertainment. So there's two of these. You know, this is the type of stuff, you know, you got to look these up. Let's see here. Z E A Zealot. Let's just look up Zealot. Let's see if we can find this this card here. Oh, okay. Yep, here it is right here. Collector Sports Look Image Promos, $1.45 here on COMC. So, you know, $1.45. Does it sell one sale this quarter? So, I mean, you know, all right. Might be worth sending off to COMC. Then we get to Jeff Bagwell. A couple more Daryl Strawberries. Daryl Strawberries, Random Baseball, Juan Gonzalez. Lenny Dykstra. Alex Fernandez, Alex Fernandez. So anyway, that's a typical jewel case box for you there. So anyway, hopefully if I find something else interesting, <clears throat> we'll get back. But for now, you can look at this this girl's butt, Zealot's butt there. All right, guys, here's the next one that I picked up here. I like when they look like this. There's lots of uh, random stuff in here, which is kind of cool. So it's got um, Daryl Strawberry on the front. It's it's possible this is a whole stack of Daryl Strawberry. So let's let's take a look together here. <clears throat> let's just pull out about half this sucker. <clears throat> yeah, the bottom card here from the middle and this card here is Daryl Strawberry. So this is gonna be a whole box of Daryl Strawberry. You know, so Daryl Strawberry's dream, yep. If you're a collector, look, here's the Sport Flicks. For strawberry, Strawberry. I mean, just a million Daryl Strawberry cards, which I don't think, you know, we're going to find a very valuable Daryl Strawberry. I could be wrong, but this is just mainly junk wax Daryl Strawberry. Now, that's a red, it's a red parallel, probably, Stadium Club. 86 All-Star. Might be able, might find us a Tiffany in here. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, oh, actually, that's a glossy. That's going to be a glossy there. 86 glossy. Here's another glossy. I don't know if these, I think these glossy ones in a Kmart special. Now, these, these glossy guys might have some value. I'm going to set those aside. I don't think those are actually considered Tiffany's, but they're glossy. Look at this one with the deckled edge what is this tops magazine 1991 this is a 1952 reprint came out of a magazine that's interesting this is glossy like a it's a k-mark glossy with a, a big bend in it down there in the bottom left corner we'll pull him out and the k-mark thing or in the uh the magazine one okay I'm, you know pinnacle shades I'm just going to have to look some of these up. This is like an ultimate Daryl Strawberry collection here. You never know about these sometimes. All right. Turning out better than expected. Let's at least, you know, let's see this through, right? So let's see the rest of this box. I love these jewel case boxes. Dude, you never know what you're going to get in this. Game winners, another... Okay, Sluggers, 86 Fleer. These are like weird, you know, off-brand. Here's more Glossy, two more Glossies. Put them aside. Collect the books, that's classic. Some Ultras. Fleer 90s, Ultimate Junk Wax. Score 90, even worse. Is that a Glossy? I think it is. Let's pull that aside. Rookie year 83 starting lineup card. Oh, drop that. Where did that go? Here it is. Take a look at him as well. <clears throat> Hold on. Sorting some of these here. Okay. What else we got? Leaf, Fleer Studio, Studio, potentially Silver Signature Studio. Let's pull that aside. If you're a Daryl Strawberry fan, let me know. What year is this? 86. Uh, 
again, I'll have to look up Daryl Strawberry, but pulled out a lot of glossy cards and some other oddball, interesting looking stuff, Bowman. And I'll put these back in. I'll uh, keep filming, guys, if there's anything else interesting in here. I'm going to pause for a second, look up some of these Daryl Strawberry cards, and I'll get back if there's anything else interesting. All right, I looked up the Daryl Strawberry cards, and um, unfortunately, they, the glossy ones did not appear to be uh, too valuable. Um, however, that Topps Magazine cards that was pulled out of a magazine with the kind of the jagged edges, that's about a two, three dollar card. That's it here up on the screen. Topps Magazine, 90 to 93. Um, next up, this is a, a good sign here. We got some um, Topps Finest, you know, might, maybe we can find some refractors in this bad boy. You never know be awesome if we could you know these are it's tough to tell if these are refractors usually they're not um, yeah I don't see any refractors jumping out to me but I have not looked at these yet. would be dope to pull a Jordan out of here Hardaway Worthy Grant Vault these are starting to green unfortunately Du Williams Mookie Harper Come on, Jordan, where you at, bruh? I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky to pull a Jordan out of here. Nah, looks like a bunch of base, basically. Yeah, no refractors either. I mean, they're shiny, of course, but none of them are refractory, unfortunately. So anyway, it was a bunch of Topps Finest base. Nothing to, nothing of note though, unfortunately. Well guys, nothing else too crazy in the box. Deion Sanders found this $1 Wayne Gretzky. Found this, um, what's this guy's name? Dickie Simpkins. This is a couple dollars for this card. Rookie sweepstakes. Sweep, sweepstakes. Seku Kovu, Koivu. A couple bucks for these. Here's those drill strawberries again. There's the one that had a little value to it. The a lot cards um nothing too crazy in this one here's kind of the stack of the ones i went through you know a lot of base a lot of a lot of nothing i'm going to put them back in the box here i was going through a jewel case box yesterday and actually found a bunch of jordans i'll show those to you these aren't from the same box but these jordans were in these kemp's too so jordan jordan kemp rookie Here's Jordan from that Skybox Series 1 set. There's one of those, maybe two of those Robinson, more Kemp rookies, another Jordan, another Kemp rookie. So those were in a in a box from yesterday. Pulled those out. Some Also some Griffies there. But uh, anyway, yeah, going through the jewel case boxes again. Just thought I'd give you guys a little update, show you what's going on. But um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you like this content. I enjoy going through these boxes. Sometimes you find some cool stuff. Sometimes you don't. But uh Today wasn't too bad, found some interesting stuff, learned a little bit. There's a lot of hockey in this box, which was interesting, but um, anyway, I'll uh, keep you guys updated. Thanks everyone. I'm gonna stitch these videos together and see if it comes out to be a somewhat interesting video. Thanks everybody, bye.